Hey, good morning from Kansas. It was a really great night's sleep. And now I'm out here with Sierra. It's a little windy. So we're gonna actually spend our time at camp today. And uh, <laughs> Sierra's way down over there, just chilling on the ground, kind of over by the pit toilet. Um, but I noticed there's a bunch of trash around here. And so I wanna get this all cleaned up today. And I figured that since I'm, uh, let me make sure this is back, yeah. Uh, since I'm chilling at camp, and just kind of doing stuff around here, I figured I'd clean it up. And it's, you know, it's your run-of-the-mill beer cans. It's just like Bud Light, Coors Light, Keystone Light. It's, a, it's never any craft beer, which my friends and I, we kind of joke about that, how it's always um, the the crappy beer that leads to it being thrown on the ground and out here. But uh, it's, it's a real nice day other than the wind. I mean, the wind's not bad. And we're just kind of chilling here. Here's the lake that we're at. I've been noticing been some people kind of driving around. Uh, essentially, it's just people, I think they're deer hunting because it's, uh, I've seen a lot of white-tailed deer running around out here. So I think they're out kind of scouting to see if there's any deer running around. And I got another guy over here just kind of chilling. So anyway, gonna get to clean it up and, and uh, make it look better. Like here's an example of some of the trash. It's just you know, a, bunch of, a bunch of beer cans. At least that person put it in a bag though, which is nice. <laughs> So anyway, let's get to cranking. All right, got done with that trash cleanup and actually got quite a bit of trash, which was um, both disheartening, but done good that I was able to get that cleaned up. It was basically just a bunch of beer cans, was like Bud Light, Coors Light, Keystone Light, Keystone Ice, like all the good stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Seems like that's always the case whenever you see, uh, you know, a bunch of trash in the backcountry, and especially when it comes to beer cans, it's always the crappy stuff. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk about the, the vents in this tent. Um, if you're going to winter camp in here, it's important to understand how those vents work. Now, the vents that are on the, uh, that are built into the tent here are pretty big. If I were to take this off, which I'm not going to, but if I were to take it off, you'll see that this entire area here is mesh. And there's a vent on the outside. It's actually like kind of like a, a cone that, that fits over that to where the air can come up. And that's great for in the summertime when you want to have a lot of ventilation come through because it can get pretty warm with the passive solar coming through the tent during the day, especially if it's all buttoned up. But in the wintertime, you don't want that. And when I first got the tent set up, I didn't know, I didn't realize that that was, you know, kind of one of the features that, that was in here. And it was cold. I mean, I was the first... Like the first two days, I got three feet of snow, and after the snow kind of piled up and covered up those those uh, vents, I thought, oh, I just need to cover those things up and I'll be good to go. So what I did was I took Reflectix, and I'll show you here up on the big ones. Um, here's my nice weather is for wimps from Alma, Colorado. That's <laughs> if you go, if you go through Alma, you got to go to Walmart. It's a cool little store there. But the, most of the heat was escaping to the top portion here, and then I was getting a ton of air flow coming in through the bottom portion. And so what I decided was, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna put some Reflectix over here and have it to where these are always buttoned up in the winter time and uh, they're not removable. However, these are. And so the ones that I have up on the corners, you know, I could take it like that, put it over, and it pretty much stays into place. Or if I want to get a vent going on and release some of the heat that's in here and also get some airflow, and the air is coming in pretty good, get some airflow going through, then I can do that. And uh, that's the way that I regulate the temperature in here in the wintertime. And then if it gets super hot, then I can unzip the windows, and, you know, these are mesh. You've got a, got a, a clear plastic covering, which you can put on that's what's that's what this is right here on the outside you just roll it over and it velcros in and zips down which is really great if it's raining because i found if it's raining like crazy or um uh, anything like that it also too with really cold weather you know the zipper works great but it's not 100 percent seal you put that plastic over and it's 100 percent seal which is nice and then also too it provides like a window you know you could have it to wear uh, I took that one down, but on the far one over there, I had it set up to where the plastic was over it, and then I could just open that up and look out if I needed to and didn't lose any of the heat that was in here. So um, kind of doing a chill day at camp, like I was saying uh, in the intro. I'm just, just kind of chilling around here with Sierra today. She's been napping all morning, and it's uh, a baby girl. And I've just been kind of hanging out, getting caught up on emails and trying to respond to everybody and all that stuff. And it's pretty awesome. I like yesterday, you know, I put up that video saying thanks for the 40,000 subs, and I've almost got 41,000 now. So, end up getting over 750 yesterday, which was pretty great. So, I just I just really am appreciative of that. And everybody's super positive. I, I enjoy all the comments. 
Uh, most everyone's cool. You get a few douche canoes, but that's just par for the course with social media. Uh, but everybody else is real nice, and I love interacting with everybody. So um, that's just a little tip about the tent, about how to keep it warm in the wintertime. If you don't cover those up, it doesn't matter how much you run your stove. As soon as your stove stops running at, at maximum uh, capacity, it's going to get cold in here because the, the cold air will come in. It'll seep in through the bottom, bottom little vents there, and then all of your warm air will go out of the top vents if those aren't covered. So just a little tip if you're going to get this tent. That's what you want to do to, to make sure that it operates effectively and that you stay warm in here. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And tomorrow we'll, we'll do the hiking through the National uh, Preserve up here at Tallgrass National Preserve. So hope you're all having a good day. Thanks.